What it do YouTube, it's that time of week again. I'm pretty sure this past week has been a very, very depressing week for us Miami Dolphins fans. Pretty sure y'all didn't hear the end of it from other NFL fans around the league. Uh, we, we took an L to the New York Jets. I'm not gonna lie, we underestimated the Jets, but luckily for me, I live in that Baltimore area. So my, so my comeback will come be like, hey yo, at least we ain't get annihilated by the Jaguars. <laughs> It went out like the the question always comes up about how Joe Flacco being elite. Hey, it, it, he showed it on Sunday that that man is not elite, and we guess we're gonna find out this Sunday about Joe Flacco. But this ain't this this video ain't about the Ravens. It's about the Miami Dolphins. Like again, we underestimated the Jets. Like I, I did. I'm not gonna lie. I did. I thought we was, I was gonna blow them out last week. I thought Matt Moore was gonna be coming in the second half. And he was gonna be gonna be doing a couple pass plays himself. But it ended up being that way. But uh, the New Orleans Saints in London. A couple things. Uh, Lawrence Timmons, he's going to be returning with the Miami Dolphins. If y'all didn't know, he was suspended for going AWOL uh, last two weeks ago against the Los Angeles Chargers. He left the Miami Dolphins. His, his, his hotel room before the game on that Sunday against the Chargers, nobody knew where he was. They, they called the police. Then they couldn't even find him. Come and find out, we end up going back to Pittsburgh. Now, speculation was that the fact that he wanted to go back and play for Pittsburgh, but I highly doubt that that's the situation. I just think that's like too much of a coincidence. The fact that he went back to back to Pittsburgh, obviously, they just want to get a story. So I'm pretty sure Lawrence Timmons has some family back in Pittsburgh. He had to take care of some business, something like that. They're not they're not giving out any other details about it. He just said he took care of his business and he's he said to be playing this week against the New Orleans Saints. So that's that. Now, considering how we missed out on our week one game against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers at home, uh, we've been playing, we played three straight, we're about to be playing three straight away games. Now, obviously, you already know we went to Los Angeles. Like, as soon as Irma hit that, um, that, that Thursday, you know, going into that Friday, the Miami Dolphins was already traveling down to uh, Los Angeles. And they understand Los Angeles for that straight week. Um, during during the actual week that they had to play the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, so we ended up traveling back down to up up to New York and ended up staying in New Jersey, and then now we're traveling all across, all the way to London. So I was playing three straight away games. I, I, I'm really interested to see how exactly we're going to go out and perform because of the fact that we have not they have not been back in Miami and since before Irma hit. So. Um, that's going to be very interesting to see. There was actually speculation about the Miami Dolphins fighting to get that fight, fighting to get that New Orleans Saints game at home, considering the fact that, that, that that's that's a crazy that's a crazy playing ride from you go all the way from uh, Los Angeles down to New uh, down to New York, and then going all the way to to London. That's actually a pretty crazy ride, but. Um, if y'all don't know, y'all gonna have to go to sleep early Saturday night for you to be able to catch the game Sunday morning at 9:30 a.m. Um, but mm, it, it's 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 hey, it's it's a grind. Nobody's gonna feel sorry for us, but it is what it is. Now, points of emphasis offensively for us against the Saints. Now, last week against the New York Jets, Jay Ajayi had only 16 yards rushing. Hey, I don't care who I don't care who we play as my Miami Dolphins play. Jay Ajayi has to get it going. Period. It doesn't matter if we have an all-star quarterback back there, Jay Jay Cutler or Ryan Tannehill, Matt Moore. Jay Ajayi has to get the running game going. Period. 16 yards is, is unacceptable for us. Um, for Jay Ajayi to have for us to win a game. Period. Um, the New Orleans Saints defense will run def defense period is in the bottom half of the league so we should I'm not going to say we shouldn't have any issues because we had issues against the Jets last week but this should give us the opportunity to get back on track as far as offensively because our pass offense is, 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 is I think it's ranked 32nd so that should give another opportunity for us to work on execution chemistry with the receivers and Jay Cutler because like I'm not going to lie to you when I went to go rewatch some of the highlights from the game against the Jets sometimes I do get a little bit irritated because Jay Cutler doesn't if I had any issue with Jay Cutler as far as last week's game, because I thought he played pretty well, considering 
uh, the offensive line wasn't blocking and we didn't have a running game. But the one thing that I want to see Jake work on as far as his uh, mechanics, as far as his, his mechanics in the pocket, like when he's making a pass, he doesn't set his feet. He's sometimes throwing off his back foot, doesn't put enough. Like it looks like he doesn't put any effort when he throws the ball. So honestly, I, that's what I want to see him is in his in his mechanics. I want him to do a little bit better because he did miss. He did miss a couple of throws. One I remember in particular was one in the end zone to Jarvis Landry in in the fourth quarter. So I want to see him work on those mechanics a little bit better. But uh, Julius Thomas getting him involved in the offense. Um, and just, just uh, us, uh, us, 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 this is an Adam Gaze issue too as well. Like I know we ha- we've we been playing very, very conservative as far as offensively. I don't want to see them shallow shallow drag routes the whole game. I want to see us push the ball down the field. I want I want Jay to sling the ball deep to Kenny Steele to get us some get us some big plays early because we're going up against this New Orleans, the high power New Orleans Saints offense. We can't be just going three and outs, and that's that, that we cannot do that. Now defensively, <laughs> it's crazy how. Uh, our, our run defense is our strength this year considering how like we were terrible last year stopping the run but we're gonna continue on with the strength we're gonna have to we're gonna have to stop the run adrian peterson and mark ingram they're doing good back there uh continue on stopping the run make make the saints one dimensional we want we want drew Brees to beat us we don't want them to have a two-headed monster where they be able to get the opportunity to run and pass but um, if there's any week for the Miami Dolphins pass defense to tighten up. It is this week. Hopefully Lawrence Timmons will provide that 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 general perspective for us to actually get get lined up and set up for us to be able to get, communicate better on defense, which reminds me, one of the is, one of the things that I'm I'm like having a hard time getting my finger around is our our corners they're bump and run corners. Cordell Taker slid, bump and run corner. Xavier Howard, bump and run corner. Um, dead body on defense, Byron Maxwell, bump and run corner. But so far in the first two games of the season against the season against the Chargers and the Jets, like I'm seeing our corners play off the receivers. Like that's not their game, and they're getting exposed out there. So like I'm, I'm having a hard time understanding what's going on. And it's, and it's a lot of man-to-man defense too as well. They, they mix some zone up in there, but I see a lot of man-to-man off coverage, and that's not their game. So I would like to see that too as well, especially against these New Orleans Saints. I want you to beat up these top. I want you to beat up Ted Ginn Jr. up at the line because he can't get off no press. Michael Thomas, I'm not so sure. Willie Sneed, I don't know. Kobe. Fleener, that's that's another that's another threat right there. But man, beat them up at the line. I want them. To, I want the receivers to beat us because Drew Brees is gonna get his somehow. He's gonna get his and like us as a pass defense, we gotta get this together because this is ridiculous. Sitting back and giving up over 300 yards and us and opposing quarterbacks having these excellent excellent completion percentages against us. So like I said, Lawrence Timmons being back in the lineup that should help because he's our signal caller on defense. So that should help a lot. Now. Stephon Anthony, we got him in a trade again with the New Orleans Saints for a dis- dis- disclosed 2018 draft pick. Like I, one of the things I really, really love is when players go back and they play their former team. They just have that that chip on their shoulder, extra motivation to go out and play. So I'm not I'm not exactly sure what his status is for the game, but look out for Stephon Anthony to make big plays and be like, "Yo, Sean Payton, you want to let me go? All right." I'm just looking forward to him making big plays along with Lawrence Tennis. But um, final score, I honestly think it's going to be a high scoring game. I'm going to go ahead and go 31 27, Miami in London. Uh, also, I want to make a quick announcement again. Uh, if you want, if you want to be in the shout out video for the next final thought, make sure you gotta leave your comment in the comment section for the last final thought, and I'll be able to be able to shout your name out in that next final thought. But uh, other than that, that's all I got. You know what it is. If you enjoy the content, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. This is great one, Devore. I'm up out of here. <laughs>